Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Dave Concepcion. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's Passion and her service of your Church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of His glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. And when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let, the er let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in Him, he rules by His might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A 
everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that all, although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because... I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We all know that if you suffer because of the wrong things you are doing or done, you would say you deserve it. But if you have done nothing wrong or you have what you have been doing what is good and you are being persecuted by it, then the pain is much harder. The first reading perhaps would help us understand the three levels of pain that we can encounter or we have encountered. The first level is the pain that we experience through hunger, sickness, calamities, or what we are experiencing today. That's the first level. The second level, the first reading is trying to remind us, is when you're doing something good, and yet you are pursued, and you are being killed by your, because of your faith. That's the second level. Yung wala kang makain, mahirap na yun. Pero yung wala kang makain, at patuloy mo pinapahayag ang ngayong pananampalataya, pinipersecute ka, mas mahirap yun. Mas mahirap yun. But there is a certain experience in the first reading that we forget. The worst is when a person being possessed by an evil spirit when a person is being possessed by an evil spirit. When an unclean spirit crying out in a loud voice, coming out of many possessed people, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, ask yourself, what are your many complaints and lives? Kausap ko lang ang isang doktor, sabi niya, I rather die in hunger than in COVID. Doktor ito. I rather die in hunger than in COVID. 
Sabi niya, pag nakikita mo, Father, na sila'y naghihingalo at hirap na hirap sila, maintindihan mo bakit mayroong mga doktor just recently committed suicide. They cannot take the pain yung nakikita mong ganyan. Ano po? And the limitations of our hospitals that we don't have enough ventilators, intubators. Sabi niya, alam-alam mong bunutin ko doon sa iba yung nakakabit para ilagay ko dyan. Sabi niya, the psychological pain that comes, ano pa? madudurog ang mukha, ang, ang iyong kalooban, ang iyong pagkatao. And yet, you can watch in the TV, sabi niya, parang baliwala lang sa mga tao. Para walang saysay yung, yung trabahong ginagawa mo. Hindi mo naman talaga naintindihan ko sila'y nagugutom dahil yung iba nga, yung nakuhang ayuda, nakapagpariban pa. Ano pa? Yung ibang nakuhang ayuda, Nagkakaroon tuloy ng pagkakataong magsugal, magdroga. I guess we are having this problem because people failed to see the bigger picture. People failed to see the bigger picture. Sabi nga niya, sana araw-araw ilabas sa news, sa news yung nakukuha may magvideo ibideo yung mga nakikita sa ICU at makita ng mga tao makita ng mga tao ang hirap ng ikaw ay namamatay sa COVID when you are gasping for air na parang binabali nila mga likod nila kasi talagang walang makuhang hangin. Sana naman hindi mo maranasan para iyong maintindihan. Hindi po ba? Ano? Pagka minsan yung iba ganun eh. Kailangan maranasan para maintindihan. Now, what does it say with regard to our faith? And perhaps the celebration of today in the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. Even Jesus said, you have failed to believe. You have failed to believe. I told you, although you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. Kahit yung mga taong nakakita sa Diyos, Naranasan nila marahil ang milagro o ayaw naman tawagin ni Saint John ang mga milagro yan. Ang tawag dyan ay signs. Signs ang mga pagpapakita upang ikaw ay maniwala. Ano po? I would like to invite you on this. That the death of Jesus in the cross does not make please the death of Jesus on the cross does not make it easy for us to enter heaven I repeat the death of Jesus on the cross does not make it easy or easier for us to enter heaven. It, he simply made it possible. Hopefully, every time you look at the cross, you will understand how difficult it is to enter heaven. Ano ang pagkakaintindi mo? 
Ano ang pagkakaintindi mo sa pagkamatay ng Diyos? Pagkabayubay ng Diyos sa cross. Do you think by the death of Jesus it was made easier for everyone to go to heaven? No. What St. Catherine of Siena is trying to teach us, my brothers and sisters, that it is not, it, Jesus did not made it easy. Jesus made it possible. In St. Catherine of Siena, I would like to quote her words, nothing great is ever achieved with much enduring. Nothing great is achieved. There is nothing greater than heaven. But please do not entertain the thought that by the death of Jesus, it was made easy. The death of Jesus made it possible. But I want you to look at the cross and perhaps to understand how difficult it is to, in, to enter heaven. There is so much to endure to enter heaven. If you cannot understand what is happening around us, how can you understand our struggle in terms of entering heaven? It was not made easy. It was made possible. And look at it, how difficult it is. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work human hands have made, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, Administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. We continue to pray for those who are sick, those who are in the front line, that the Lord will continue to protect them. We pray for the repose of the souls of those who have gone ahead. We pray for other intentions offered in this Mass. Those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries, birthdays, people separated from each other because of this pandemic. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, with Santa Maria Goretti and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot in this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you Amen
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrucina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrow. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness the force which sustained me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth. And continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us. And as even in this world, it nourish the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray the prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps 
and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Pag ikaw ay walang makain, nagugutom ka. Pero yung namimili ka ng kakainin, hindi ka nagugutom. Pihikan ka. Pihikan ka. Magkaiba yun. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, perhaps, perhaps we need to understand the things beyond our world. And what is that? Learn to see the bigger picture. Learn to see the bigger picture. And what is St. Catherine of Siena is inviting us today that every time you look at the cross, every time you look at the cross, hopefully it will make you understand that what Jesus did is he simply made it possible for us to enter heaven. He did not make it easy because he cannot make it. Or perhaps no human being can make it. He did not make it easy. Hopefully every time we look at the cross, we will have a deeper understanding on how difficult to enter heaven. That's why St. John of the Cross have said this, Many have failed to embrace Christ because they do not want to embrace the cross. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes. So after yes. this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.